Hello again. Welcome to um, Call 1 OCR January 2012 past paper and we're going to look at question 3. Okay. Now, well done if you've recognised in this question that it looks like you're going to have to complete the square. Okay, because that is completed square form. Unfortunately, it's not a straightforward completed the square question because we've got an unknown P here an unknown Q and R on the other side. Okay. Now our aim is to find out what these unknowns are. Now we're going to have to be a little bit clever about this and imagine if we were to write this in complete the square form, what do we think this value of Q would be? Hopefully you've practiced these enough to realize that the coefficient of the x squared is always going to be the coefficient of your bracket. Okay, So for that reason, we know that q is going to be 5. So if we substitute q as 5, this is now the right-hand side of our equation. The left-hand side with q as 5, the left-hand side is going to become 5x squared plus px minus 8. We know those two are equal, so it's just a case of expanding the right-hand side and comparing coefficients. Okay, So we want to expand this bracket, which is going to give us um, 5x squared minus 2x plus 1 plus r, which expands again to 5x squared minus 10x. Okay, and we're going to get plus 5 plus r. I'm just going to put brackets around the 5 plus r so that you can see when we equate coefficients what it matches up to. Okay, so we've matched up our q. We've already found that that is equal to 5. Let's match up our p. Well, p must be equal to minus 10. And finally, let's match up our constant term, which matches as minus 8 equals to 5 plus r. Okay, So to find r, we're going to be taking away 5, which gives us minus 13. So our final answer, r equals minus 13, q equals 5, and P was minus 10. Thanks for watching. I hope this has helped. And good luck with your maths.